Hey, Nick Clayton here at the NSA National Headquarters with another installment of The Bridge with my two good friends, Shelby and Courtney. Shelby's a U.S. bobsled development team athlete. Courtney Thomas of CourtneyThomas.com does online training. She's NSA CSCS. Known for getting women jacked with the mantra of big arms, big life. Today we're going to talk about inverted suspension rows, why they're important, progressions, regressions. But to start, our expert Courtney is going to tell us a little bit about why she programs them in. Yeah, absolutely. I love inverted rows for a lot of reasons, a lot of different ways to do them. Um, fantastic multi-joint exercise with tons of progressions and regressions, which is always useful for a lot of different clients. Um, great way to increase uh, shoulder girdle and lumbar spine stability and overall upper body strength. Um, provides good muscle activation comparable to other rows, which again, good way to exchange in a lot of different uh, ways. Lower compressive and shear forces on the lumbar spine, which is also great. Awesome for group fitness, so great option there. And then I personally love to program them uh, for pull-up and chin-up assistance and gaining strength there. Nice. Well, let's look at the progressions, regressions, and variations. All right, so we are going to start with our first variation here, the uh, barbell inverted row. And this is a great one that you can use either with a squat rack that we have set up here. Another great way to do this is with a Smith machine, and that's an awesome way to adjust up and down. That's kind of the first point with this exercise that I love is uh, that you can adjust the height of the bar for the athlete. The higher up that the bar is going to be a little bit easier for them, and then the more advanced you can lower that bar. So she is going to uh, set up in the rack here with a double overhand grip and key point here, nice neutral body. So she's gonna have a totally straight line from her head down to her heels. And then she's gonna pull her body up toward the bar, elbows nice and tight in, chest up, and that bar is gonna come to the lower part of her chest. Big pull up, slow control down. Looks good, that's a barbell inverted row. All right, so we're gonna move from the uh, barbell inverted row here to a suspension trainer inverted row using a TRX here today. Uh, so a good way that I like to set up, she's gonna go ahead and grab the handles and uh, starting the row with the uh, shoulder blades retracted, making sure the shoulders are back and down. Good cue there is to uh, think about bringing your shoulder blades down into your back pockets. Uh, and then she is going to start the row by bringing those elbows toward the rib cage. And again, really nice straight body here. Uh, another common mistake here is uh, that the hips tend to uh, flow up yeah, so we don't want to have the uh, lower back arched that much. So a good cue to kind of stay away from that is make sure your core is nice and tight and squeeze the glutes and the body's going to move as a unit there as she does her row. So suspension strainer, inverted row. All right, so uh, we are going to go through a little bit of a progression here. If you want to uh, take your client to the next level, make it a little bit harder for them, you can go ahead and change their body position. Essentially, uh, the more parallel to the ground that uh, their body position is, the higher percentage of their body weight they're going to be lifting. So in this case, we're gonna have Shelby uh, do a row with her feet elevated on the box here. So she's going to, um, again, get in that nice straight body position, go ahead and do a couple of reps. Looks really, really good. So in this case, a common mistake that we might see is a rounding of the shoulders in this position. So that might look a little something like that with those rounded shoulders. And again, uh, to correct that, you just want to think about nice big chest up and open. And again, shoulder blades down and back. Those look really good. Cool. So um, again, then if the client isn't able to maintain that position, then you would just want to play with their body position. Again, it could be feet coming down onto a little bit of a lower box, maybe back down onto the ground. So you've got room to play there with each client and their individual abilities. Uh, so to kind of go back then, I love to start clients with an inverted row on the barbell or Smith machine, uh, the uh, feet on the floor, suspension trainer version, but you've got lots of progressions and regressions that you can use with any client. All right, thank you, Courtney Thomas, CSCS. Big arms, big life. Check her out, CourtneyThomas.com. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the Suspension Inverted Row. It's a great article by that very title in the Strength Conditioning Journal. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.